Welcome to the fascinating world of the mammalian nervous system. In this exploration, we will delve into the intricate network of nerves, cells, and structures that govern the functions of mammal, brains, and spinal cords, from sensory perceptions to complex behaviors. Join me on the journey to unravel the wonder of the mammalian nervous system. In multicellular organisms like mammals, communications between cells is vital for coordinated activities. Specialized receptors sensitive to change, trigger responses, ensuring the organism adapt effectively to its environment, internal or external. What happens when you accidentally touch the sharp object and it swirl the nerve or nerve cells will exhibit exceptional specialization designed for swift transmission of electrical impulse known as action potential. Facilitating rapid communication throughout the body, the information will be gathered by the receptor and is conveyed to the central nervous system, which is to the brain or spinal cord, as action potential traveling along sensory neuron. And this neuron to possess cell body located in a small swelling known as ganglion. outside the spinal cord, and the impulse is then relayed to the interneuron entirely within the brain and the spinal cord. Subsequently, the impulse is transmitted to the various region of the central nervous system and along axon that carry it to effectors. And in certain instances, the impulse is transmitted to the effector before reaching the conscious area of the brain, resulting in an automatic response which is devoid of decision making. And this type of response is known as a reflex and the organization of neuron involved in terms of a reflex arts. So you will automatically will take your hand away from the sharp object. The myelin sheet, where was it located? It is here. Consists of numerous layers of the cell membrane from swan cell, and which envelop the axon by wrapping around it rapidly. And this structure serves as electrical insult Insulation for the axon, enhancing the speed of action potential transmission. And it is important to note that not all neurons process myelination. Neurons, like all cells, feature sodium potassium pump in their cell surface membrane. In neurons, these pumps are particularly active, executing active transport by expelling sodium ions and importing potassium ions. And this process involves moving three sodium ions out of a cell for every two potassium ions transported in. Additionally, so there are also other channels in the membrane that allow the passage of sodium and potassium ion. And these are voltage, voltage gated channel when the process of, we call it as repolarization. The potential difference is resting. And quite a few potassium 
ion channels are open. When you can see during the process of depolarization, there will be an opening of voltage channel. Okay. And so potassium ions are able to diffuse back out of the cells down their concentration gradient. And as a result, the neuron has more positive ion outside it, it than inside it. This means that there is a potential difference, a voltage across the exon membrane. And it has a charge about more than 90 millivolt inside compared to the outside. So what it's trying to say is additionally there are voltage gated channel and in the membrane that facilitate the passage of sodium and potassium ion. And the state of this channel, whether open or closed, is determined by the potential difference across the membrane. And during a neuron resting state, this is a process for, they call it as hyperpolarization, where voltage gated potassium channel remain open after the potential reaches the resting level. So during a neuron resting state, a significant number of potassium ion channels are open and enabling the diffusion of potassium ion out of the cell along their concentration gradient at this position, hyperpolarization. And consequently, the neuron exhibit a higher concentration of positive ion inside compared to the inside. Establish a voltage difference across the exon membrane. And the resting potential manifests as a voltage change of approximately more than negative 90 mV inside compared to the outside. When a receptor receives a stimulus, it can reduce the potential difference across the membrane, leading to the opening of sodium ion. Sodium ion channel, at the stage of depolarization. And this allows sodium ion to rush into the cell along an electrochemical gradient where the electro gradient signifies the charge difference across the membrane. And the chemical gradient represents the difference in sodium ion concentration. And this rapid influx reverses the potential difference across the cell membrane, making the interior much less negative, a state referred to as depolarization, as what I'm telling you just now. The stage where, where there is an opening of voltage gated sodium channel. And the sodium ions continue to plug in until the cell becomes positively charged inside, which is reaching a potential of approximately more than 30, positive 30 MV. And subsequently, the ion channel close. Once it's reached the maximum and subsequently the ion channel will close. Let's look into the synapse. The alteration in the potential difference across the membrane trigger the opening of potassium ion channel. Subsequently, potassium ions are free to exit the exon following the electrochemical. Gradient. This outward flow diminish the positive charge inside the exon, causing a swift return to the value slightly below the resting potential. The voltage gated potassium ion channel then close, restoring the resting potential, and this series of event is known as action potential. The transmission of action potential occurs when a nerve impulse generated in one part of the neuron, rapidly travel along its axon of dendron, and this is facilitated by the depolarization 
a one man band region, setting up local circuit that caused depolarization in adjacent area, allowing the nerve impulse to sweep along that zone. In myelinated neuron, local circuit cannot be established in the region covered by the myelin sheet. Instead, nerve impulses slip from one node of Rambier to the node to the next, a phenomenon known as solitary conduction. This significantly enhances the speed at which action potentials propagate along the axon. When the two neurons converge, they do not make direct contact. Instead, a slight gap known as synaptic cleft. You can see from this diagram, separate them. The membrane preceding the synapse is referred to as the presynaptic membrane, while this is considered this area is considered presynaptic neuron or presynaptic membrane, and while the membrane on the opposite side is termed the postsynaptic membrane. And collectively, this entire structure is denoted as a snaps. Calcium ion rapidly refuse into the cytoplasm of the neuron, moving along their concentration gradient. When an action potential reaches the presynaptic membrane, it triggers the opening of voltage gated calcium ion channel. And the calcium ion influence small vesicle within neuron whose house transmitter substances like acetylcholine and this vesicle move toward the presynaptic pre membrane and merge with it, releasing the contact into the synaptic clamp. And the transmitted substance diffuses across the synaptic clamp and bind to receptor molecule on the postsynaptic membrane. And this caused sodium ion channel to open, allowing an influx of sodium into the neuron cytoplasm, leading to depolarization. Synapses play a crucial role in transmitting signal between nerve cells in the body, and they facilitate the transfer of information through the release and the receptions of neurotransmitter, enabling communications within the nervous system. The directions along a neuron synapses ensure that action potential generally propagate in an undirectional manner. One neuron can have synapses with many others, allowing for interconnections of nerve pathway from different parts of the body. Synapses enable a diverse range of responses by effectors. For instance, a motor neuron may require transmis transmitted substances from numerous neurons forming synapses with it before generating an action's potential. Some of these neurons may release transmitted substances that decrease the likelihood of an action potential. The balance between signal from these synapses determines whether an action potential is produced in motor neuron, influencing whether a specific effector takes action. That's all for today's presentation. Hope you have a clear idea about how the mammalian nervous systems. And please don't forget to subscribe to Jones Vanilla YouTube channel. And hope we can see in the next presentations. And uh, all the best to you. Good luck.